Why, hello there, friends. Seth of the Sickest LPs here, and today we are going to be bringing you some we. There are two people. I guess me and Taz are going to be bringing you some more Taz Wanted in this episode. Unlike the last one in which we started off Zuni Tunes, this one we are probably going to make headway into finishing Zuni Tunes, such as getting some more of those wanted posters. What wanted posters, you might ask? Well, you can check a map here if you always wanted to, if you always wanted to know, man, what am I actually doing? Then you can check the map here. Just press pause to start the game, and then you get the map, and all you can see, you can see we have three left, all in the complete opposite side of the world, so might as well go start our making way to that. Eventually we're gonna get there, but regardless, it's time for more platforming around a watery area. Can I be go through this episode without drowning once? No, I cannot! Okay, well, sucks to be me. Alright, well, with water in my lungs, I shall go. Let's head off over here. Jump. I call you. Ooh. Um, Tides are gonna make it this time, I'm gonna... Oh. oh. Uh, you know. <laughs> Alright, made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it! Oh. <laughs> yeah, keep jumping on things that look like you shouldn't be able to get a grip with your feet on. Regardless! Alright, we made it past this wa waterbed of doom! And we made it all the way through, so that's good. We can destroy things and eat some sandwiches. Sandwiches will make up for the fact that we have basically killed ourselves 20 times over. Yeah, sandwiches are that good in this game. Well, they do have that golden glow. They're like the sandwich of life. One of them will lead us here to our next wanted poster. Yes, simple enough, isn't it? And this wanted poster, like some of them will do, as you can see, gives you a percentage onto your destruction rate. So you do get destruction rate for that. As you can see, 36% of the playing field has been totally obliterated by us by this point. It's actually pretty good, considering we only need 50% to get the bonus. So we are making a good way into that. Regardless, as you can see, we've got kind of an open area here, not quite sure where you want to go with it. If you'd continue here, you'd get to somewhere where we want to be a bit later, but at the moment, we got to focus on getting some of the closer at hand wanted posters and not getting caught by that guy, so I don't think it's a very good idea to go that way. Therefore, we'll go here. And we got a bear in there. You know, power to the animals, but, oh, no, oh, sorry, sorry, I was just trying to free you. I'm gonna get out of here before he gets mad. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's open this door, see what we can get over here. There is clearly something going on here. Uh, cage animals. Nope, sorry, I had a terrible experience freeing the previous cage animal. I do not think I want to get anywhere near you guys. You, you guys are probably better off for it. So, let's head over here. I do believe if you continue on this way, hopefully we won't run into any... Well... I guess not unfortunate, they are pretty fortunate people. I actually forget what I'm doing, to be honest. I know there's one in the vicinity around here, so- OH! NO! NO! Oh, <laughs> he got me. Okay, where the heck did he put me? Oh, I don't want to be in here with all the other caged animals. I'm a free animal. Free- and I just got hit by a car. Shows what being a free animal can get you in this modernized day and age. Let's head up here. Fly, Taz. Fly. And go back here, you might be wondering, this is kind of the beginning of the level. Well, yeah, we took a different path this time, and honestly, I don't remember where to get another disguise. So we're gonna have to come all the way back here for a disguise, because I do not want to lose any more bounty. Yeah, as I've uh, previously explained, the bounty that you get for destroying your own posters, as ironic as that is, is going to be kind of like your score for this game, so you can gauge how well you do. The bounty will lower by about 500 apiece every time you get caught by one of these blue guys, but it's okay, these guys are... They're not that big a deal, is what I'm trying to say. And especially if this guy doesn't even notice you're there. Whatever. It's, we're, we're hiding in the trenches. And right now, we, we're, we're border, man. Border. I mean, border, I guess. Is that what they call skateboarders nowadays? Borders? Borders? Yes, they are borders. I am the border of Canada. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Um, nothing in here. Okay, so yeah, I forgot that there's this little interesting place here. That I guess the only point of it is if you fall from up there, you can actually get out by destroying that thing there. And you can get destruction points towards your destruction bonus, because destroying things is a great thing. That's the, the message they're trying to give you, kids. Not really. But apparently when you're being chased by the law, vandalism is a valid stop. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't write, I don't write these things. And let's get over here and... Get some more sandwiches, yes. Yeah, so this is actually where I want it to be, all the way over here. As you can see, we got this thing. We don't really know what that is, but I do believe if you press Y, maybe? No, Y is not the right... Oh. Actually, I guess I could show that off. It's not the most useful thing in the world, but it can stun the guys if you don't have any abilities near you slash Acme boxes. 
So if you eat something, you can spit it out. And see, I spit it out right on Mark. Got that thing. All right, so you're going to want to knock down these beams. What's this going to do for us? Well, it's actually a wanted poster, believe it or not. If you do recall the little opening cinematic at the start of this area, then there is indeed a wanted poster up there. It is going to fall all the way down. We have 53 sandwiches. That's kind of irrelevant to what's going on. But regardless, I'm going to say that we have it anyways because it's kind of important. And that will actually let us bridge the gap back into the place where we came from originally. But I'm going to want to go up here because, well, there are a lot of sandwiches to be had. Sandwiches are always good times, even though apparently this guy's eaten six sandwiches in what, for me, is the space of a very little time. So, you know, even if it was just the amount of sandwiches he ate right now, you know, I think this... Okay, apparently that's another common theme with my Let's Plays. Everyone has a freaking void in their stomach. Ah, I'm looking at you, Kirby. But regardless, this is Taz, not Kirby, so might as well head over here. I don't believe there's any point to this. I think it's if you get here from the other way, it can help you destroy these things. But I could be wrong, so I'm going to punch it. Whenever you see one of those, it's always a good idea to punch it, just so that you can do that. See what I just did there? And if you go back here, you might notice that, well, there seems to be a locked door here. How will I get through here, though? There is a collectible in there called a Golden Yosemite Sam. Those are the main collectibles of this game. For those of you who like video games for the utmost challenging part of it, then you are going to enjoy the collectibles of the game more than anything. Mostly the Golden Yosemite Sam, because they're a bit more challenging to find than these posters that they just kind of throw out there for you. But regardless, we're going to have to go for another one of those posters that they just throw out there for us. We could have went the easy way like they intended us to, but you know, I like jumping off cliffs for some reason. And I don't like getting hit by a car though, and um... <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope bears don't gossip a lot. Oh crap, he knows. He knows. He's trying to punch me. He's trying to punch me. Okay. We're gonna need a plan B. Actually, you can get that thing by spinning, believe it or not. Um, there is a way. Or actually, I'm gonna show you guys what you can do. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna get punched by a bear. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a plan B because this bear does not like what we did to his brethren. But regardless, you can actually swallow one of these things and spit it at it, and I do believe you can destroy it that way. That is not how you're intended to do it, though. You're intended to be exposed to one of the primary power-ups of the game. Yes, the toxic waste. That's what it looks like. I don't know. I've never questioned it. I just thought it was soda of some type, but then when you think about it, you just ate toxic waste. Regardless, one thing about eating toxic waste is it apparently gives you a lot of gas thing about pissing off bears they freaking use you to practice their punching back oh crap that's okay so yeah there's a little oil spill there as you can see the black sludge on the ground i actually didn't notice that but if you do this you can destroy the sign because yes your burps do a giant explosion basically <laughs> that's... you've heard of explosive diarrhea but i think this one goes to the other end you know Ah, anyways, fantastic. You've destroyed all the posters. In the following movie, you'll see where the level exits open. I don't like how they call it movie there. Kind of, you know, breaking the fourth wall and whatnot, but whatever. <laughs> it's the cinematic, to say the least. And the cinematic was a big trick just to see us get punched by the bear again. He's, he's even bored. He doesn't even want to punch us anymore. He's just like, yeah, you know, I got to teach you a lesson, apparently. So, you know, I'm going to have to do that because or else my brother and my brother and brother and isn't a thing anymore. It's brother and yeah, is going to be angry with you. So regardless, we got all of these things, but we are still missing the golden Yosemite Sam. What is a golden Yosemite Sam? You might ask. Well, I've already told you. So <laughs> what the hell? Where did he come from? Oh, that's really All right, well, as you can see, I'm not going to have the best score, so feel free to try to beat my score in any of these. You do get an individual score for each level, as well as you do for the entire game as a whole. Oh, no, not again. Not again. Okay, I keep forgetting that guy's Oh, crap, there's another guy there, too. It's not going well for me, though. I got this. We're going to want to get on top of this thing now. So, our ticket to the end of the level is up here by way of this thing so yeah we're gonna get to ride this thing we kind of I, I i'm glad these things don't hold grudges like bears because i kind of remember killing its brethren <laughs> i don't know I, I don't know how you can have a brethren if you're a car but you know if you can well that's about as close as we came to mass genocide you've destroyed all the posters complete the next level and return to the hub no we are not done with this level yet there is indeed something we want to do prior to that and it is not this way i don't know where i'm going here for actually is it i don't think so I do not believe so. We could get there that way, but that's not the way we're going to go. And I... Oh, I almost fell. The, no, I don't want to complete the level. Yeah, every time you come here, it's going to ask you if you can complete, want to complete the level because this is where the level actually completes itself. We're going up the wrong way. We were supposed to go up this way. And this guy's in our way, so I'm going to eat or bring a... Draw attention to yourself by screaming, why don't you? 
Alright, let's see if I can snipe this guy. Just so I can get past. Really all I need is to get past him at this point. Boom! Gotcha! So yeah, that's gonna let us get over here. Oh crap. That's not good. We need to hit this button. Hopefully he doesn't get up. Okay, good. Yeah, we knocked out both things. The mechanic thing and the non-mechanic thing. So, you know, that's gonna be good for us. Alright, coming up here, you will notice this thing, or you might not. I... <laughs> I found this pretty difficult to understand at first, but I apparently was supposed to make the note that this thing does not look very stable. And apparently, because physics doesn't make sense, it's going to fly all the way over there once you destroy its support beam. So, it knocked down that thing, and if you go over there to check out what happened, you got your way into the locked room, and he really did not want you in there. Look at the size of that two-dimensional padlock. Anyways, gonna get this thing here. Taz wanted. Well done. I don't know why it shows the Taz Wanted sign, which is about everything you do is kind of like shamelessly plugging its own game, which doesn't really make much logical sense. Whatever. We got this, and now we're going all the way down here. Woohoo! I don't know why I sound like Yosemite Sam now. That's not even what's in Yosemite Sam. Not even Yosemite Sam sounds like that. Come on. What am I doing? All right, and now we're going to be heading to the end of the level. At least I will be doing so right now. But off screen, whoa, grab the sandwich right here. As you can see, off screen, I still have a sandwich bonus and a destruction bonus to get, and I'm about to get knocked off that thing. And that makes sense. I just, my feet went through, whatever. So I will basically be showing you guys me doing that in a bit, but I will see you guys at the end of the level. As you can see, you just jump up on the thing and you get there. I will see you guys there. And we're back. All right, that took me a little longer than I had expected. And I kind of lost a lot of bounty on the way. You guys will see that later in the bonus video that I am about to upload. But regardless, you've destroyed all the posters. Complete the level and return to the hub. Why, yes, indeed. Let us do that. All right. So, as you can see, that we, we found all of the sandwiches. And apparently I got the destruction bonus somewhere along the way. I didn't even notice. I had no idea I got it. But apparently we got the destruction bonus, which is 500 along the way. And ironically, trying to get the destruction bonus, even though I didn't know I had it, probably cost me a lot more than the 500 it gave me. But we've destroyed all the posters, complete the level, let's do this. Alright, what's up? What's up? What? What? Stop it! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop. What the hell? This is the illogical. Apparently, mice can incite destruction of the laws of physics as well. Yes, Zuni Tune complete. Let us just... We've already seen this. So, might as well show you guys what's going to happen after this. Accessing memory card? I do believe so. And we're out. Wow. What? Uh-oh. Ow. Double. Yeah, you better run. Well, at least I could have got there if I had the key. Now what the hell am I going to do? The point of winning a level is to get you closer to the end goal, not to ruin everything. Uh, I guess we're going to see how all this fits in in one of the prior epi prior episodes. Yes, we're going to go back to the future, back to the past, back to the whatever. And we're going to figure that out. But what is this? The TARDIS CALLS TO ME in the next episode. Yes, as you can see, we do have a little something going on there. So, that is essentially what happens when you get all the sandwiches in a level. You will see this thing appear. What is it, though? Is it bigger on the inside? The world may never know. But, you probably will know if you stay tuned to the next episode of Crash Bandicoot. Might as well be Crash Bandicoot. Rah! Crash Bandicoot Spin! Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, that's what you deserve. See y'all next time.